Hi there, I hope you're doing well in whichever part of the world you may be in. In today's video, I invite you to paint the Milky Way with me. I'm using watercolors mainly for this painting, but I use pearly colors and white markers at the end to give the skies a glow. I'm using a Stillman and Burns sketchbook 270 GSM. I love the texture of this paper and it's good for acrylics, mixed media, watercolors, etc. I'm using Winsor & Newton watercolors for this painting. I usually make circles of different sizes with plastic container covers or a compass. I try to get as many as I can on a page. If it's a small sketchbook, I use two pages, but the sketchbook I'm presently using today is a big one. You don't need to draw a circle. I have drawn this previously in squares or rectangles too. But I love to draw many on a page for two simple reasons. Watercolors take time to dry and whilst I wait for one to dry, I paint on the next circle. Secondly, I create them all in different patterns and colors on the same page and it really looks lovely to see them once it's finished. So please go ahead and do however you feel like. I apply quite watered down layers of paint and keep building on the layers once the first layer is dry. You can do this painting in acrylics or pencil colors too. You may find it difficult to lift off the paint in the end because uh, with acrylics once you lay out down the paint it's very difficult to pick it up. So be careful that you don't tear the paper that you use. I'm going to try a, a couple of circles with acrylics later on, not in this video and see how it goes because I usually try uh, doing the Milky Way only in watercolors. If you try it with acrylics let me know your experience in the comments section below. I'm now working on a circle that I've done quite a few layers upon. I'm building up the colors from light to dark as you do in watercolors. I do this uh, painting mostly in a wet on wet technique. So I first wet the paper and then put the color on it. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you enjoy this video and if you like it, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell buttons to get future notifications. If you've been here before, a warm welcome to you too. And I thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it as it motivates me to create more videos. If you'd like to see more of my paintings, please visit my page on Instagram at brinrose.art or brinrose.illustrations. And the name that I use for my YouTube and Facebook page is Brain Rose Art and Soul. As we are painting, or if you're just watching this painting, I thought I'd talk about Inktober. I'm sure many of you would have heard about Inktober. It's a fun challenge started by Jake Parker. I think it was in 2009. And he started this challenge to improve his inking skills and develop a daily drawing practice. So you do a drawing according to the prompts given for the whole month. And this is in October. That's why it's called Inktober. So it's the ink, pen and ink and the month um, going together. It primarily started with pen and ink, but now you can add watercolors or even do it digitally. It's awesome to see the ideas that come up for each prompt. I did the Inktober 2020 and it really threw me out of my comfort zone. I was writing poems along with the prompts that I created digitally. So in short, I made life more difficult for me. <laughs> Jokes aside, it's a real challenge and I would encourage you to join it if you can. I noticed this year the prompts were released earlier because uh, last year they released it a bit earlier, but this time it was already released at the start of September. And that means you have ample of time to plan. So I'm not sure if you're going to take part, but uh, if you haven't heard about it, uh, just research it. Go to Jake Parker on Instagram or on YouTube and or go to Inktober. I've seen people already started putting up videos of the drawings that they have done. So they've got such fire in their belly. Good on them as it inspires others too. Going back to the painting, um, you can see that once I lay down the watercolors, I try to put in clean water and uh, 
just smudge the color so that you don't get a hard edge i'm really not fussed about it so much in this painting because at the end it's all going to be covered up anyway so don't worry about if you see a bloom or if you see hard lines or anything just um, keep on building the layers if you see the circle below the one that i'm painting um, i've uh, done the whole painting and then just put in um, the pearl colors that i have and just put dots on it i didn't even outline the milky way you know the patterns that it forms i just um, that's what i do i just make it in different shapes and some of them may not look like a milky way but i just love the colors so i do it anyway so since i uh, did that one without any um, edges of the milky way i just lightened it and put um, dots to show that it's with stars but in this circle i'll try to do the milky way in markers and i've got a nice gold and a bronze one and white and black so i'll use them so here i'm going back to the previous circle and adding on layers and you'll see me doing that from time to time so now you'll see me lifting off the color so to lift off the color have a tissue paper at the side of you a paper towel or a tissue paper and uh, just dip your uh, brush in clean water and dab it to the towel first uh, and then put it on paper don't uh, see that there's no excess water and these are the pearl white uh, pearl colors that i mentioned before and markers that i'll be using as so i'm just showing you on one of the circles how i um, add now you won't see the shine very much but uh, believe me there's a lovely sheen on it and um, it looks very pretty at the end of it I've done a lot of talking so I'll let you sit back and enjoy the video. I'll put a soundtrack on iMovie title No Way Jose by Werner Tauts. So you can see the shine uh, of the pearl colors and it really looks lovely. Uh, 
So this is one of my previous paintings and I did the Milky Way in a rectangular shape. So you can do it in any way that you'd like to do it. At the end of the day it will look nice because it's so multicolored. A close-up view again so that you can see the shine of these metallic colors. They are called metallic or pearl colors. So now comes the fun bit, putting in the metallic colors or the pearl colors. And I just do dots onto the painting and um, it's really cool to look at. I'm putting this bit on time lapse. If you want to see it at a slower pace, uh, please click on the video and three dots will appear on the right hand corner and uh, you can select your preference from there. I wanted to mention that I also uh, take a black color micro tip pen and do the outline of the circle. I do it for all my circles. You can leave it if you want. I just like to contain it and use it. So thank you once again as we are nearing the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, uh, please uh, hit the like button and if you have any comments or feedback, please uh, post them below and I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye and take care.